Okay, it's the 3rd of January, 2024. Um, I've already got one lesson for today, really. I, I, I was going to say I was going to write three lessons, but I think I'm, sometimes it's just going to be one lesson because I'm doing 25 minutes of songwriting. It's not that long of a time. Um, so today the lesson was um, commitment to a new routine reveals cracks in the system. So today I started my daily songwriting on time, but my guitar was out of tune and was missing a string. And uh, I also kind of just, before I started, there was a f I had to like plug things in that are usually plugged in. Things are kind of unplugged and it was just like a lot of setting up time. And that kind of reminded me of like how you know, I wasted maybe of that 25 minute period. I'd, I, well, not a waste because it's all part of the process, but it took me like 10 minutes just to kind of uh, sort things out. And the thing is, because I'm only doing 25 minute Pomodoros, uh, I do have like a little time outside of that to kind of get ready and stuff. But it, 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 it was taking me quite a while to tune the guitar and everything and it just like reminded me how it's similar to everything in my life in that when I start doing like a new thing like it's same with my job um like I say when I the first like couple of weeks when I started the job I would do things like say miss out on breakfast um or like get up too late and not have all my sort of stuff ready for starting and those days were were more painful because it was like, say I was hungry when I was during the shift and say, if I didn't have all my stuff with me, someone at work would be annoyed at me and I'd get like negative sort of emotions. And But the thing is, that is good because it's like, then for the next day, I was like, well, I don't I don't want that to happen again. I, so then you, you kind of remind you, that's like the good side of those negative emotions of this. It's actually negative emotions can be good. It's like damn it. It's like I'm gonna the next day. I'm not. I don't. I don't want it to be like that. And if I wasn't doing this new routine of songwriting, I wouldn't have even noticed it. So it's like that's the. I guess it's just part of the process of um, starting a new behaviour. Because of the slight annoyance of having to waste time tuning the guitar, it is now top of my mind to have a guitar tuner nearby and, I'll, and always make sure the guitar is tuned before I go to bed. It, I mean, it, you know, like say in the evening time when I'm, when I'm eating my uh, dinner or something, I might be more likely to pick up the guitar and like tune it ready for the next day now because that has exposed like a kind of crack in the system. And look, the... Uh, like my computer was actually broken for about two months so that was a huge crack in the system I mean there's so many ways that like these systems can break down because obviously like when I didn't have a computer I couldn't have, I couldn't certainly couldn't make a, a video like this um, and uh, anyway so commitment to new schedules is hardest in the beginning I don't know the exact number of days but I've heard it ranges from about 21 days to 60 days to implement a new habit or routine or behavior because your brain has to rewire itself and well it's it's always wiring itself and unwiring itself but i think it when it, it gets to a when you do something for that long it's like uh these cracks in the system they kind of come in and then like you deal with them and then you kind of streamline them and then after a while it just it, it becomes um easier to go into that habit i've, I've also heard that uh, there are th usually three phases to habit or routine formation. Uh, the first one is defiance. In that, in, in, like if you look at the, the sort of graph, in the first few days, like there'll be problems and you'll be like res very resistant to doing this new behaviour. In the first few days, and then the second stage is acclimation, and then I, th I think the last one is acquiescence or something. There's some graph like that. So in the beginning. It's like I've got to be the most aware of the potential for me to kind of give up. It was actually, I, w I woke up, like, usually when I start, like, say a new thing, when I'm, like, all geared up, like, I'm going to do like, this new thing, and you write out some plan, it takes you ages. Usually I'd never follow through. If you look, actually, on some previous other plan that I made, 
on this same channel, I, I made like a really big plan and then I just absolutely ruined it and ended up getting pissed, I think. And um, that, it was just so annoying. Um, it wasn't annoying. It was almost like a kind of learned helplessness. It was just like, oh, there I go again. I'm making another plan. That I'm that I'm not gonna follow through on. I and I knew I wasn't gonna follow through. It was like a, definitely like a learned helplessness feeling. It felt awful. Um, but uh, since I got like a new job and I have actually less time, um, for some reason, I don't have that learned helplessness feeling anymore. Maybe it's because uh, having like a full time job, it um, it it sort of helps me feel sort of safe and secure in in some other part of my life so that I can kind of turn off I can, this part of my brain that can just turn off that worry about having to kind of pay my rent and stuff and also the worry about um that that my because my job is like is outside and it's quite active it's kind of guarantees that i will be out of the house for a certain amount of time and kind of getting a certain amount of exercise and a certain amount of money and because that system of having a job is like taken care of i can kind of forget about that but almost like this compartmentalize different areas of my life into like these different um systems and i think the same with this system that i'm trying to implement now i think i will continue with it um because yeah when i woke up today at 3 a.m i was like wow i haven't felt this feeling for a long time it almost reminded me a bit of, of being uh, young um just uh that you know when you're young and like you have these like subtle feelings of like um being excited being you're sober but you're excited about something you're going to do the next day it's like those childlike feelings of like joy and curiosity that that often I found that in adult life they kind of uh, they can they they can kind of get um I don't know if it's like stamped out they, they you can get like you know like that curiosity you have when you're a kid where you just like you want to play with like toys and you want to like figure out musical instruments and you want to like just check stuff out as I get as I got older I noticed that that has gotten like beaten down a bit or wounded and I need to like these little like practices and routines that I create for myself it's like as a way to uh give you know, make sure that they get done because they're so important. What is more important uh, than um, than me, like, kind of doing this uh, routine now? So, yeah, I'm happy with, with, uh, with today and that's it.